you know, I, I feel like uh, Generation Um is a, in, a, in a hard way um, an uplifting film. You know, I feel like it's, you know, these disparate characters who are, you know, you call it a family of circumstance, earn through this day, these 20 hours, mm -hmm. kind of break through a kind of intimacy to maybe change their lives, maybe not, maybe be friends, maybe not, but there's a possibility. Yeah. Well, it's all about possibility. I, mean, I don't think you can make a film like this without being an optimist on some level. Mm -hmm. and it's called Generation Um. What generation do you feel like you are part of, and do you actually identify with that generation? Well, I'm, I'm from, I was born in the 60s. <laughs> but I think, gener you know, Generation Um is a kind of interesting thing because it gives a context of time mm -hmm. and, and the meaning of generation, which is particular. Mm -hmm. But it pushes back against all of that because, you know, you have a t girl in her 20s, 30s, or 40. Mm -hmm. So it pushes back the idea of generation as a continuing idea. And then the um part of it has a non-specificness to it. And yet it is an inclusive term to perhaps have reflection of you mm -hmm. or us. And um, dot dot dot, which is uh, that that is also the, there's a the ellipsis and is in the title, and it's an audible pause. You know, I mean, it's what you say when you just don't know, and I, I, like on some level, that is what binds all these characters together, and it, it, it's it's a metaphor for where we all are now. We we all are sort of in the same generation. It's not about age anymore. It's about situation and mindset. I'm definitely not Generation Um. Would have like that generation of kind of New York drifters, definitely. But yeah, <laughs> yeah what are I, you? Why? Um, I'm why? Are you why? I don't know. I'm like the older why. I'm not really in touch with the whole generation. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, it's um, I now. Is it's a Generation I now, is it like isn't it? Or I, I the I generation, or I I I me me me. Oh right, but right. You're not. That, I think. I think you're why. You're like the younger why, and I'm the older why. Right. Okay. I like why. Like I was saying, this is a very haunting film that sticks with you, and I, I couldn't get out of my head the sad Keanu meme oh, that yeah. was going around. And yeah. uh, and I don't know if you've seen this, but I, I had to bring this. What's this? this? That's you. That's your sad Keanu meme. Oh my God! So <laughs> you can buy that on a website called thisiswhyimbroke.com. Oh my Not that I'm God! That it's, right. it's, it's a plug. You can just do that, like you know, like when you do those things, like hey, I'm in Paris. <laughs> hey, I'm falling down. Has this here? Are you going to give that to me? Are you kidding me? I'm going to have you look at it. It's, it's are you kidding me? Thing, but they made a sad Keanu. That's when he was sitting, you know, in like but you East. know he wasn't. I mean, that he was, was just hovering around we town. Would, oh, Keanu! I mean, it's it's sad, Keanu. that's hilarious. We would finish rehearsals and like, you know, and then he'd want to do more rehearsals. And we, I, this, uh, this is a like happy period for all of us. We were, I know, on cloud nine. But anyway, finally, I have him in the palm of my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I had to say I that. Love it. <laughs>